All right, we're not going to spend a lot of time on this because this imagery is, is what you, you're very familiar with this imagery already. So this is called the allegory of law and grace, and you know an allegory is a narrative that typically conveys a moral principle or philosophical idea. And so this was pr um, produced during the Reformation, at the start of the Reformation, in fact, and it was printed and used as a devotional aid and something that was widely distributed um, among the, the Protestants. And this is pretty low-key on the, um, the Protestant side and not so much on the Catholic side. Um, and, you know, and it's a circulation, and it's, it's supposed to be that way in that they're trying to convince people. This is a woodcut, so it would have been um, carved out of wood and then printed. Uh, this is the version that we need to know, but it was also painted. And I think it's a little bit easier to look at the painted version and talk about the painted version. At least it's easier on the eyes. However, there's one scene in here that does not show in the painted version, and I'll just kind of jump ahead and talk about that now. And it's called um, The Raising of the Brazen Serpent, which is way back here. Okay, and so what you see is a pole and a serpent that's on that pole. And um, God told Moses to erect this um, so that the Israelites would be protected from the bites of the fiery serpents, which God had sent to them um, as a punishment because they were speaking ill of him and of Moses. And so this is, again, the raising of the brazen serpent. So let's move to the colorful version so we can look at it. All right, so this is broken into two by the tree. So this, uh, the tree, the right side is the Protestant side. This side is the Catholic side. And the Catholic side is, this is Judgment Day. We see Christ up in heaven. We see him raising his hand. And this goes all the way back to, you know, uh, the Romanesque, where God is, um, he's in a judgment position. <coughs> Excuse me. The skeleton is driving a terrified person into hell. You see the fiery flames here. Um, and, you know, this is pretty scary. This guy's got a pitchfork and he's scaring him off. Back here in the back is Adam and Eve. You can see the, um, you can see the snake. Um, over here on the right is Moses with the Ten Commandments. And so this is, despite a person's best efforts to live a good life, they fall short, and they are going to be judged in the end. Here's just some close-ups, or as close as I could get anyway. So the emphasis is good works, clean living, um, and the focus on going to heaven, right? Let's go to the next page. So the Protestant side is much more calm. And you see Christ on the cross, um, and then you see him risen. Here is on the cross. Here he's risen. This is his tomb. And, of course, you see down below, you see the lamb. And, you know, this is just a very calm, pretty scene. Um, Trinash, who um, is the artist of this work, was a friend of Martin Luther. And so he ended up doing a lot of works for Martin Luther and, and kind of ended up being the artist for the Reformation. So the Catholic side is highly emotional. It's quite busy. The Protestant side, very calm, very orderly. So it's the comparison of the two. And, it, you know, it's, I wouldn't say it's propaganda, but it's definitely putting out information that the Protestant side is better than the Catholic side. 